loves welcome back so today I'm going to be sharing with you my Sunday faves and this week I have one unfortunate nay and this nay item I'm gonna tell you I am so sad number one on my list of products I'm so sad it didn't work out for me hope you guys had a really great week or weekend whenever you're watching this and also I was really curious what state or what country do you guys reside in i'm really curious you know where um you guys are from so please leave me a comment in case you guys are new to my channel hi my name is christine make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a big like if you guys enjoy these types of videos where i share with you my faves or my nays of the week number one on my list this week are brushes and they are these oval brushes from the brand oahu these were sent to me for reviewing purposes from the company and i have been testing them out the past couple of weeks this comes in a set of 10 oval brushes and they range in various sizes a set of 10 of these are about 20 between 20 to 24 dollars i'm going to link it down below in the description box the ones in general which are my favorite for applying foundation are these three oval brushes my first favorite would be this large this is the largest of the oval brushes the bristles are seriously super super soft they're really soft very compact they're really packed in there and i also have washed these oval brushes and i did not get any shedding from the brushes which is always a good sign the handles are these are plastic so when you're using this to apply your foundation you want to make sure that you kind of press like at least for me when i hold this i like to have my finger like right behind the back or the neck of the brush just so that it's, um, it gives it a little bit more support. If you want to see a more in-depth review of the Oahu Oval Brush Set, let me know and in the comments. This is from the brand Essence. It's called the I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. It also has a doe foot applicator and here's a swatch of it. So this has more of like a pinky tone to it, like a kind of like a white pinky tone. To me, this is very, very similar to the um, Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Primer or Eyeshadow Base, which I also really, really love. The I Love Stage is more of a yellow base, whereas this one is more of a pinky color. It says that it's supposed to help intensify your shadows. In my opinion, I don't think it really does intensify the shadows. However, I feel like it's a really, really good product to help prolong the wear of your shadows throughout the day. Um, I have noticed that my eyeshadows do not crease whenever I wear this. I'm wearing it today. And it's just an all around, a really good eyeshadow base for a very affordable price. I believe this is like $3.99. Very inexpensive and I have been really, really enjoying this one. Now moving on to a lip product which is from the brand Jouer. This is actually my very first purchase from the uh, Jouer website. So this is one of their matte lip creams in the shade called Terra. In the tube, it definitely mauve pinky brown color. But on my lips, kind of like a muted rosy pink. They have... Um, I want to say kind of like a velvety feel so it does dry to a matte finish i am wearing it today on the lips this color doesn't apply patchy it just goes on very smoothly very pigmented probably after about 30 minutes or so i have to use some sort of uh, lip balm over it just to help kind of moisturize my lips but they are extremely comfortable they have a scent to them which is also very similar to the one from milani cosmetics my opinion i feel like these smell like a cupcake rum Scent. Now I know why everybody always seems to rave about these lip creams from Jouer. And lastly is my Nave of the Week. I was super disappointed with this product. It just it did not work out for me. A lot of people love this product, but I don't know, just maybe with my oily skin, it was just a nay. And unfortunately, it's going to the Hourglass. It's the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. I have the shade called Sand. Let me just swatch sand for you guys. So here's a swatch of sand, which in my opinion, I felt like it was a little bit too light for me. I think I could have gone a shade up to get the perfect, um, to get my perfect shade. However, since it's now fall, I didn't want to get like a shade that was going to be um, too dark. I love the way how this applies on the skin. I use the um, It Cosmetics. Let me get the brush. I use the IT Cosmetics. It's the Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush, which was only, it was really inexpensive. It was $12 at Sephora, uh, at Sephora. It was $12 at Ulta. 
And um, you do wanna make sure that you use a synthetic brush when you use the Hourglass Vanish Finish Seamless Foundation. You just kinda wanna go ahead and buff it in. It did such a great job of buffing in. It looked so flawless. Now the one big reason why it is a nay for me is because this foundation just looks horrible on me after probably about four hours. It looked like it was just caked to the max around my nose area to the point where I had a lot of redness showing, a lot of like just discoloration. It looked so bad and I remember the time I wore this, I actually bumped into somebody that I know and I was talking to them and then I remember when I got home, I was like, oh my gosh, what happened to the foundation? Why does it look this bad? I think if my skin wasn't super oily, then this would have been perfect, but it just, it worked perfect everywhere else on my face except right here. So that is everything I wanted to share with you for my Sunday faves and my one unfortunate day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what items were your yays or your nays of the week. I would love to get your feedback. Also, give this video a big like if you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, which is right over here on this side. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.